So one of the other things I need to worry about is how do I traverse a multi-dimensional array? I've got more than one element. Well, remember, I can't just do uh, something like system dot out dot print distance. You know, that's my uh, array's name. I can't do that because this is a complex data type. One of the things that we started to learn about was this idea of using uh, something called the dot length command. This dot length command, I'll just clean that up. That dot length command, what that does is that tells me how big my array is. Now, if I come in here and I state distance, dot length. This is going to give me back 7. Now that's something that I want to point out. I have 49 or I have 64 numbers here. 49, sorry. I have 49 numbers here. Uh, 0 to 7 or 0 to 6, so 7 times 7. This only gives me the rows back. Just the rows. Now how do I get any column. Well, we'll get to that in just a second, but let's take a look again at how we would traverse our distance in the past. We'd start with, again, a simple for loop. Int i equals zero. i less than distance dot length I plus plus. This is going to be considered my outer loop. And if we remember this outer loop, it basically has to run through everything inside it before it can move forward. Now why that matters is because now that I know this I, what that allows for me to do is me to come in here and then go for int j equals zero. Now I'm going to leave this blank for a second. If you're curious, kind of maybe skip ahead, but if you're really curious, figure out what that might be. And so what this will do is, again, what should I be putting here? Well, again, I'm dealing with a j. I'm no longer dealing with i, so to speak. So I put my J in, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna rename this instead of a J just to because I got so much clarification going on or not clarification but I want to make sure that you guys understand uh, the difference between that right there. So I'm gonna say instead I'm gonna name this uh, Z Z plus plus. So again, what do I put inside here? Well, again, I'm going to be dealing with Z. But now what do I put in this regard uh, here? I don't do distance.length again because that's not what that deals with rows. What I actually do is I say distance at I dot length. So what does this do? Well, this is going to tell me the number of columns at distance at i. Now, okay, if we notice, that's just going to constantly be 7. But it's a good rule of thumb because this is going to come back to haunt us when we start talking about uh, ragged, uh, ragged arrays. And then I can come in here again and I can just do a simple system dot out dot print uh, distance. And I'm running out of space, so. Mm -hmm. There we are. Distance at I at 
Z. Now, every time I, well, again, we're dealing with this idea of a nested loop. So what's going to happen is sort of imagine this is my starting point. I start. I go through my loop and I get to now my inner loop. I'm right here in my code. I have to run through this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times before I can then in turn come back to my main loop. Once I do, I just went from zero to now one. Z starts back out at zero because again, I come back down here. Z goes from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six. It hits seven. I don't do anything at seven. Come back and do it all over again. And I continue to do this until I have printed every single one of the elements inside of my array.